All right, so another video. This time we're looking at a, uh, a Life Fitness leg extension machine. I personally think knee extension would uh, be a name that makes more sense, but they call it leg extension. Point being that it's intended primarily to work the quads, right? There's your pad down there, right? Comes up whenever you extend the knee and then goes back down when you flex the knee again. We've seen these things before. That's no big deal, but I wanted to look at the cam on this. <clears throat> now, I'm going to check it from this angle first. If I can get a good angle here, I want to kind of situate you where you can see the axis, right? This is the center of the axis, so as this thing moves, it's going to pivot about this point right here. The whole system is going to pivot right here, right? And of course, here's your cable. So the machine, you know, the pulley feeds into the machine, and I'd show you the pulleys if, you know, I could get a better shot of it, but it's shrouded here. But you see that the cable is pulling this way, right? From the machine's perspective, anyway, it's pulling in, and you're resisting by pulling back out this way, by rotating the system, spinning this cam. Now, I'm going to show you from the other side what happens to this moment arm. Again, the moment arm is going to be the perpendicular distance between the line of force, and the line of force in this case is parallel to this line, it runs right along this line. The distance between that and the axis. So if we look at that distance, my hand is just big enough, right? So I don't know what's at, about nine inches or so. But I wanted to show you what happens to this line when we move through the range. So I'm going to get on the other side of this machine and hopefully I can get a decent angle and show you. So, getting down here on the floor. Now, it's a little messier over here because you see more of the equipment, but you can see right there, that's the cable pulling into the machine. And then there is the axis, right? There's that little pivot point. So your knee hopefully would line up pretty decently with that if you were setting yourself up on the machine. But I want you to see, hopefully I can get this stable here, I want you to see what happens to this cable, the distance between it and that axis up there. Watch what happens. We start off, start extending our knee a little bit, right, we come out, no big deal. It stays roughly the same distance, but watch what happens as we get farther into the range, and oh, look at that, it starts to move. Now that axis hasn't moved, that axis is fixed in place. But you notice the cable has moved a little bit. Again, I'm going to bring it back down. Apologies for the shaky video, but I'm having to hold the camera with one hand and move the machine with the other. Again, we have our starting position down here. That's where the pad is, right? Look at that cable, and look how it moves a little bit because the shape of the cam will alter the orientation of that cable. The cable's going to move up when we get to the end, right? You can see that, right? It starts to come up moving closer to the axis. That means the moment arm is getting smaller. Now, take a look over here. This is the position. So that's pretty close to a full extension. You know, you might be able to get up to about here. Kind of depends on where your knee terminates, right? How you're built. But again, we're seeing this. We come down, right? And through the beginning of the range, not much change in that moment arm. But once we get maybe about halfway through the rip, it starts to move. And then we notice what looks like, to me anyway, a good inch, inch and a half of a shift. Why is that important? Well, as we get towards the end of the rep, as our knee extends, the quads are shortening. So when we get towards this position, when those muscles shorten significantly, we might start to run into an issue where we start running, um, I don't want to say running out of strength, but we start dropping off in terms of the maximal force that we can generate. That's the, that's the case more or less with any muscle to varying degrees. So as the muscle gets weaker, it makes sense for the cam to change the moment arm so the weight that we are encountering feels like it's a little bit less, right? Smaller moment arm means less torque, means less force that our quads have to come up with. This is a good thing, right? This is matching the resistance to our strength, or we're trying to anyway. So I wanted to talk about that. Hopefully that made a little bit of sense for you. Um, maybe I can do another video talking about um, why you might want to adjust the pad height, 
um, and other positions. Uh, this particular machine is a little limited in terms of what you can do. You can adjust the back. Um, seat height is fixed though. And so there are you know, certain limitations to any machine. Anyway, hopefully you get something out of that.